Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. And coach, uh, last week you went down to Bridgewater and uh, were able to come away with a victory. Just talk a little bit about um, how the game went for you guys. Uh, it was good. You know, the guys uh, the guys responded well to the game plan. We had a great week of practice, uh, really executed what we wanted to get done. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, they created some extra gaps for us and caused some problems. And we were able to su sustain some drives throughout the game, something that, that, you know, we've spent a little bit of time working on this week, get cleaned up. Yeah, absolutely. You know, both weeks so far, you've won the time and possession battle. Um, we were able to build some momentum early offensively, scoring the first two drives. And on the second drive, you had a fake field goal for a touchdown, which, um, you know, puts you up 14 7 because they had scored on their first drive. How big was that to, um, and what we were talking about before, what really was the first uh, fake field goal for a touchdown that the program's had? Sure. You know, anytime you can answer a touchdown with a touchdown, it's, it's going to be a momentum swing in the game. So for us, you know, through film study and, and, and you know, watching them on film, we knew we, we had an opportunity to, to take advantage of, of, of how they were going to try to block our field goal. So, um, you know, it was really, it wasn't a whole lot of decision making that it went, to, went into it. Um, I told Ty, you know, keep your eyes on me. You know, I'll make the call if they get give us the alignment yeah. that we wanted, and they did. And and, and fortunately, we you know we were able to execute. Yeah. And then on the defensive side of the ball, um, pair of second half turnovers, uh, takeaways. One um, right, they had a midfield. You were able to turn that into a touchdown, and one right at the end of the game to uh, kind of seal the victory. Sure. You know, again, turning takeaways into touchdowns is is huge, and that's something that. You know, over the course of our program history, we've been really, really aware of, and it's part of our culture is to go out and be able to take the football away. So, um, and obviously having the offense being able to respond to that with touchdowns is, is huge. Yeah. And I know one of the first things you noticed when you looked at the box score on Saturday night is you only had two penalties. Mm -hmm. um, on a season that's only seven penalties in two games, you're one of the least penalized teams in the country. Um, what does that mean just to have that discipline and not giving away yards, you know, with flags? Well, it's something that we've talked about since February, uh, being a disciplined football program, being, you know, disciplined in everything that we do, and, and that's starting to show. And, um, you know, from a, from a coach's perspective, that's very, very important. Um, you know, we don't want to give away free yards. Yeah. Uh, and you look at the penalties that, that have been called, um, you know, two of those have been delays mm -hmm. with the new clock rules, and, that, and that's on us. And, yeah. and, and we own that as coaches, and um, we've got to do a better job of, of getting our guys transitioned from offense to defense or teams um, to offense, whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. We've got to do a better job of that, and I think moving forward, as, as we've learned, um, we're going to work to eliminate those as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and now this week you shift to conference play, and obviously um, start off with a big one in Albright, a team that you've had some uh, battles with over the years. Uh, you know, I talked to the kids earlier in the week. It, you know, since 2012, it's been a one-score football mm -hmm. game every year. So, um, and it's always come down to the last possession. So right. for us, it's a situation where we've got to maintain our discipline. Uh, we've got to go out and execute our game plan and, and really focus on being the best football team that we can be over a full 60 minutes. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the weather can be a factor again. Very rainy, very windy. Last Saturday, Bridgewater, you know, it could be depending on which way the storm goes, could be similar. It's raining on them too. Right. Um, we we look at weather as something that we can't control. So for us as a program, it, it's not necessarily a variable that that, that we can affect in mm -hmm. any way. So again, the focus is on the discipline and being the best football team we can be on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. All right, coach. We wish you the best of luck as you head up to Albright on Saturday, and we'll chat next week. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.